In this video, we're going to take a look at multiplying algebraic fractions. Now, to multiply algebraic fractions, we do the same method as we would for multiplying regular fractions. So, normally, when we're multiplying regular fractions, say, I don't know, 1 over 5 times 2 over 3, then what we do here is we multiply the numerators together, and that would give us the single numerator here. So, 1 times 2 gives me 2. And then we do the same with the denominator. So, 5 times 3 gives me 15 there, okay? And we'd get 2 over 15 in that case. And what we do here now is we just use that same process for algebraic fractions. So if we take a look at this first example here, we're asked to simplify fully 2y over 3 times 4 over 7y. So what I'm going to do here now is just multiply the numerators together. So 2y times 4, so that would give me 8y. We get 8y there. Then I'm going to do 3 times 7y, which would give me 21y. But be slightly careful here. Remember, we're going to give the answer now, the single fraction, in its simplest form. So 8y over 21y, hopefully you notice that this isn't in its simplest form just yet, because I can cancel a y out in both the numerator and the denominator. Okay. And what that's going to leave me with here is 8 over 21. Okay. So we get 8 over 21, and that is our solution there. So that's its simplest form giving us the solution to the first question. For this next one here, this is slightly more complicated. Um, so we're asked to show that a minus 3 over 5 times 10 over 4a minus 12 is equal to a half. Okay. But we just use the same method and process that we've done for the previous example and what we do for regular fractions. So here I'm going to multiply the numerators together. So a minus 3 times 10, that's the same as 10 lots. So 10 lots of a minus 3. And that will all be over 5 lots of 4a minus 12. So times in both of the denominators together. Okay, so 5 lots of 4a minus 12. Okay. So what can I do here? Well, how does this cancel to a half is, I guess, the first question here. Well, I've got a 10 in my numerator, a 5 in my denominator. So we can divide top and bottom here by 2. Uh, sorry, by 5. So that would give me a 2 in the numerator. So that'll give me a 2 in the numerator, and this 5 here will just cancel to give me 1 in the denominator. Okay, so I'm going to get 2 lots of a minus 3 all over 4a minus 12. Okay. Now, again, we're still not quite at this half, so what would I do here? Well, what I'm going to do next is factorize this 4a minus 12. See if we can cancel anything. Okay, so 4a minus 12. So 4a minus 12. Well, I can factor out a 4 there, okay? So I can factor out a 4. That's going to give me 4 lots of a minus 3, okay? And notice now what I've got here is a common factor within my numerator and my denominator, okay? So what I've got here now is 2 lots of a minus 3 all over 4 lots of a minus 3, okay? So in case you missed why we've gone to factorizing here is because there's nothing else I can really do with this expression other than factorize the denominator, okay? So we've done that there. I've got an a minus 3 here and a minus 3 here. So we've got a common factor now within the numerator and the denominator. So we can cancel both of those. And what I get left with now is 2 over 4, which hopefully you are familiar with, which we can express now as 1 over 2, okay? So divide top and bottom again by 2. We get 1 over 2 there as required, okay? And there we have it, that's, that's our solution. And that would get us all the marks there for that question. So there we have it. So that brings us to the end of this video on multiplying algebraic fractions. It was quite a short one. We're going to see some more complicated examples when we take a look at exam revision for algebraic fractions. But in the next video, we're going to take a look at dividing algebraic fractions.